and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the new seasonal event called The Rising. So, in the background at the moment is the song Answers, which is playing, but I've muted it for the sake of the video because of copyright and whatever, blah, 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 YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And we are here in Upper Limsa Laminza next to the Aetherite Shard, and we need to talk to Bran. So, I am joined today by Zelly, by Cassia, Luna, and Texture Pack, and Diesel from um, my FC. Say hello. 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 So let's see what this uh, event is about. So the quest is called What Blooms in the Night. See an interesting Final Fantasy XIV like, symbol on it as well. It's obviously to celebrate the one year and we will earn the Hazar emote. So it says, Brand the Gazettia would ask for your aid in tracking down an elusive individual. This quest is available for a limited time only because it's a seasonal event. So he says, a moment of your time uh, wouldn't give a moment less they got something to hide, right? I'm with the Harbour Herald, name of Bran. I'm as green as they come. Consider this Gaz born yesterday and still learning to spell tomorrow. He talks like an idiot. Uh, but I'd have to be beyond green to know that you're a woman that knows things. For example, this Mysteria Minstrel, whose poetry, the talk of the town, you know about him, am I right? A flamboyant kind of fellow, I hear. Silver bijox and scented oils. You sure you haven't seen him? I highly doubt an eagle eye like you uh, miss him. You, Sorry, you'd miss him, and if he were about these parts. Then again, what do I know, right? I'm as green as the darling buds of spring. Hardly fair to think you'd live up to my lofty expectations. Uh, pay no heed to what I said about you being an eagle eye and knowing everything that's going on. I'll just go talk to some other folks. If you hear anything about the mysterious minstrel, uh, not that I suspect you to, you know where to find me. Oh, he's rude. I spit on you. Okay, yeah, so let's okay, um, uh, let's look now for the NPC. So we need to go into the drowning wench, and it seems to to accept this quest you just need to be level 15 I don't know if there's any requirement from the story mode so talking to someone called Gregory he says a mysterious minstrel you say might a merely puzzling one do I met one of those just the other day when I was about guild business in Gridania now that you mention it he did cut a rather dashing figure it was at a remembrance for the calamity I started when I saw his face by the light of the fireworks we looked alike as brothers, you see. Well, fair he was to look upon, naturally. I introduced myself, asked him if he'd lost friends as I have. And what do you know? He thanks me. A puzzling sort of fellow, as I said. Okay, so let's now go to the next person. So obviously we're looking for clues to find the mysterious minstrel. I wonder if it's just going to be the wandering minstrel who gives you the hard mode of different dungeons. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here is uh, Gigi Wazoo. So Gigi Wazoo says, The mysterious minstrel, why I believe I met the very man. It was in Aldar. I was there but recently, you see. A p as pleasant as Linzo Lemenza is, I feel the need to return home as a regular kick. There's nice fireworks in the background. He ha had me show him to the heights of the city to see fireworks and oh how lovely they were flowers for the dead blooming in the night sky ah but forgive my flights of fancy the fireworks are quite extraordinary however no common green comets or blue spinners there might not uh, this minstrel be working on a verse a song of remembrance and hope okay so i guess everyone's talking in riddles for this no. So we need to, but it seems to be indicating that I will. We will have to visit all of the city states to track down this guy. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so here is G Grenade. So have I heard of the mysterious minstrel? We have not merely heard; we have listened. Rest assured, we are on alert for this known troublemaker. 
Let the record show that shortly before the calamity, he was apprehended in Lanosia and placed in custody. The charges inciting a riot. Further compounding his crimes, this minstrel vanished from the jail before his guilt could be pronounced. He will be found apprehended and charged with prison breaking or my name is not Gennade. Okay. So let's now again talk to Bran. So it's probably quicker for us to just teleport straight back to the aft castle. Yeah. Yeah, I walked there. It's a shame that I can't have the music in the background, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. It is, it is a nice song, though. Okay. It's basically a bit a slower version of it, so it's really good. It's the same song that they play just before 1.0 finished. Finished. Mm. Yeah. The sort of eerie Very version. Ambient. Yeah. So anyway, Brand says, some breadcrumbs for the little bird. I knew you were the woman to drop the hint to. This gaz may be raw, but daft he's not. The minstrel was spotted in Alda and Gridania, you say. Knew that already? Watching fireworks, so that's new. The calamity's remembrance, I'll wager. And yellow jackets are talking big. That means they're not even close to catching the fella. Last I checked, you can't smoke out of a fox with hot air. Wager you a brass buckle, the minstrel's going to show right here in Limsa. So, the best vantage points for tonight's fireworks. Um, eagle eye, something tells me you're the woman to hold the fort here in the aft castle. I'm off the swarm up the other. Won't have it to be said that Bran Ma raised a log guard. Well, whatever. I just want to punch him in the face. Okay, so let's complete the quest. And I'm guessing there's a cutscene given that everyone here has got cutscene symbol next to their name. Mm -hmm. so here's the wandering minstrel. So this is basically Yoshi P's in game character. So fancy meeting you here Mifri. I am on a pilgrimage of a sort. I travel from city to city in remembrance of the calamity, sleeping during the day to witness the fireworks by night. A rare and beautiful sight are these fireworks, like all night blooming flowers. That should be the sigil of adventurers, were you a house instead of a guild. Your greatest feats are done out of sun and sight, and smell the sweeter for it. There are no coincidences left, not in this time of stealing shadows. You and I are in the right place at the right time. Come Mifri, tell me your tale, and I shall sing it to all the realm. So Mifri song is high quality crafting. So anyway, in the shadow of shadows, the common folk look to the adventurers. Have blade will travel, no job too small, no danger too great. You are the gallants of this new and uncertain age, the lords of the road. Your tale is the thread from which I weave my verses, a roving tale to be sure, in need of many hours on the loom. In its stead, let me share with you the words of Louis Soir Levilleur. Lancers of light herald the dawn, beckoning the beckoning shadows deeper still. Splendor dances with shades, unseafed a rim kissed blade spills crimson over fields of white. How did the Seven Astral Era dawn? But through the intervention of warriors of light, lances of light. You are the lances of light, the sword of the morning, you and all adventurers. But Archon Louis Soir warned us that shadows will accompany the coming of dawn. In answers to ascendant light, darkness will gather in opposition, or so I interpret his words. What a rhyme kiss blade signifies I cannot yet fathom, but I have heard that roses of blood are blooming in the white fields of Corphus in ever greater profusion. We are to come to a strange harvest advent adventurer. I fear the lances of light are destined to cross this rim kiss blade. Pray hearken to these next words of mine that you might be kept from the encroaching shadows and as a token of appreciation for all that you have done. Okay. So maybe, I guess, another cutscene. Oh, he's gonna sing, is he? Oh, 
I hope. So a growing light over all the realm, figures bright on highlands white, in an instance a blade that smites the night. All ill winds rise as the great gates yawn, hope rides to meet what naught can cheat, an old despair astride a new shod mare. And thus do I wonder and spin my words, all for the glory of the warriors of light, or should I say for the glory of you. I have walked the four corners of Hydaelyn, from the gardens of uh, Zarakish Zara to the floating lakes of Vor Zion's Siren, but never in my travels have I borne witness to the tragedy such as that which befell Eorzea. So obviously I'm hoping these are new locations that we're going to be going to at some point in the future. In the days before the Calamity, I glimpsed a world beyond the void, a new world birthed from the ashes of the old, delivered from darkness by the bringer of light, the giver of hope, you. See how many look to you for hope, for the promise that night will end and dawn will come again. Interesting. What are you but a growing light, the hope that rides against despair? The rebirth of this realm is entirely because of you, the warrior of light. We who gather to watch the fireworks, we are of one mind, we are not beaten. We live in a world of unimaginable loss and overwhelming suffering, yet we have hope. It is our light in the darkness, a light with which you blessed us. Ah, interesting. Yep, yeah, I'm still watching the cutscene. Oh, okay. That gives me time so, to switch so the character then. The Wandering Minstrel says, And for that, you have my undying thanks, Warrior of Light, mine and many others. It is always darkest before dawn, they say, and we will not see dawn for a long time yet. For every day without care, you will see the weight of the world will be upon you. Or that is your destiny and your hero's journey and when your journey comes to an end who will you be though my heart longs to know my own journey may take me to another land down that nameless corridor of shades and sprites let me then leave you with a gift Never forget what you are, Mithri, the dawn that breaks over a realm reborn, the hope of Eorzea, the warrior of light. Okay, so Mithri's happy. Yay. Another cutscene. Fireworks still look, look really cool, don't they? Yeah, they do. Cool. <laughs> uh, like this, who's our uh, emote from the uh, Lala Hills. Okay, so I'm completing the What Blooms in the Night complete. Completed that quest. So it says, You have learned the Imot Hazar. The Slide 1 X14 minigame. So says, You also unlocked the Slide 1 X14 minigame. Mark this anniversary of Eorzea's rebirth with a bout of puzzle solving. 
Open the toy chest in any inn room to try your hand at this popular Eorzean pastime. Cool. Is that basically it? And now we just pick up the rewards? Yeah. I so. So where is the... Is there rewards for the rising? I don't know. But these are these are Moonfire vendors, so where is... Oh, here it is. Rising vendor. So let's look at this one. Purchase items. Cool. Wind up Minfelia. Yep. Wind up Fancred. Yep. Wait, where'd you find this person? Yeah. I'm standing oh, right, stand right next to it. Right next to it. Right, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some of these Run Reborn Red Wines. What's these Run Reborn Red things? Are? Yeah, well, let's check. So I'm gonna use one now. Let's see, so. Cool. Look at that. Right there. Let's do the other one. Oh, that's awesome. You see that firework I launched? Uh, Look at the fireworks. It's like a run reborn symbol. Oh, nice! I might buy a few hundred of them. <laughs> no, uh, I'm I'm kind of low on gill, so uh, I filled my inventory with them. <laughs> I'm low on gill, so I can't buy any more. So what I'm gonna do, given that that's basically it, we already got the achievement. Um, I'm gonna go check out this mini game in the in room. So let's see. So quest seasonal event. The achievement we just got was. Let me check the name. A bloom with a view. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very short event, but it's definitely worth taking part in. Given that you get two minions, you get a bunch of really awesome fireworks and extra things, and also this mini game. So let's see what this mini game is about. So to access mini games, there's only been two added in the game so far: one from the Hildebrand quest and one from this one. We go to the toy chest. Let's say slide one plus fourteen. Okay, so oh, it's one of those sort of games where you have to sort of slide it and make pictures. You know, and it's all out of order, sort of thing. Seeing how long it takes me to solve this. I wonder if there's any sort of reward for doing it in as little moves as possible. Interesting mini game. Are you guys trying to get out or? I'm going to try. Uh, I'm, trying to, uh, I'm not trying to. I need to get some gill right now. <laughs> in the in room.
Uh, I'm gonna try it out by the way now. So, <laughs> it took me 299 moves. <laughs> <laughs> so my best time is 3 minutes, 6 seconds at 299 moves. So obviously I could improve that, but whatever. Quick game, yes. Okay, random thing. So anyway, that's the rising. It's just like a, a event to celebrate the one year of the game, really, and remind us of one year since the calamity i guess so anyway that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me goodbye from mifri and goodbye from everyone else bye bye, bye.